How's it going, you outlaw legends? I am Red Nitrate, and welcome to my Red Dead Redemption 2 Legendary Moose and Moose Antler Trinket Guide. Uh, so this trinket uh, is is relatively useful, um, more so in in the earlier portions of the game, as it increases your uh, gained health experience by 10%. So if you're looking to level up your health that little bit quicker, it's um, this this could be the trinket for you. Now, in order to find it, um, we are up near Brandywine Drop, just above Annisburg. Um, now, of course, as with all legendary animal spawns, um, it's not fixed. Uh, so I will show you where it's spawning for me. However, what you're going to want to do is uh, look for this little uh, question mark that can pop up anywhere in a number of locations within a contained area. So in order to find it, you are going to want to search this area that I am circling now until you see the question mark pop up on your map. Um, that's what it looks like there. It will also show up on your mini-map when you are close. Um, and it, uh, you will also get a notification in the top left-hand corner saying that you've entered Legendary Animal Territory. Uh, once you've sort of gotten to, you know, the, the general location of it. It, it. Not the exact location, but you know that you've sort of found, uh, you know, the, the right sort of area once that pops up. Now, once you've seen the question mark, uh, activate your eagle eye, and then you can see with the yellow sparks exactly where it is located. So make your way over. You've got a tree rub. Okay. Inspect that. Trail. Got some ground to cover. Alright, so where are we going from here? Alright, so it's off in this direction. Now for anyone who doesn't know, uh, for legendary animals only, uh, you can use uh, the most powerful weapons in the game, um, and you can shoot the animals as many times as you like, and it will not degrade the pelt quality, um, which is a welcome change from regular hunting to say the least. So you can go absolutely hog wild, pick out your favourite powerful weapon, load off uh, a few shots in Deadeye, and um, yeah, should be all sweet. Alright, so it looks like we're just over this, over these train tracks here. Hopefully we don't get cleaned up by a train <laughs> as we walk across, imagine that. Uh, so getting closer to the second clue. There we go. Oh great. Some more animal crap. Looks away <laughs> Literally every legendary hunt that we do, we come across some animal dung. Just lovely. Um, Alright, so we're making our way over to the third and final clue. Can we see it? Oh yeah, we can see a few yellow sparks there off in the distance. Uh, but yeah, just for the sake of everyone's knowledge, uh, I will be using a bolt-action rifle and I'll put some high-velocity bullets into that bad boy. Coming up on that third clue now. Let's take it nice and slow. Don't risk scaring anything away at this late stage. Right. So let's inspect that moose fur. Gotta be close. Um, so where to from here? Right, well, hopefully these damn turkeys don't give the game away. <laughs> Across the train tracks once. Oh, there we go. There we go. Sending us all over the map, but we have indeed found it. Load a bunch of shots into its moose face. Oh wow! It actually survived. I did not expect that. Woo wee! 
That is the most amount of shots that I have ever seen a legendary animal take. That was insane. I don't know exactly how many it took, but I mean, I ended up loading 10 high velocity bullets from a bolt action. So uh, yeah, damn. It's also gone in the water, which isn't particularly ideal. Ah, uh, cool, we can still skin it. Uh, so skin that bad boy. Oh, I'll show everyone quickly. Uh, let, let's see if we can get it out of the water, shall we? I don't know if we're going to be able to, because it's pretty damn heavy. But, uh... Nah, nah, it's not going to let us. There's a crazy looking moose, though. Can we... No, we're not going to be able to do that. Really. Alright, well, that took a little bit of doing. Um, I had to push it over to the edge with my horse and eventually was able to glitch it into working. Um, so yeah, we now have the legendary moose pelt. Um, and what else did we get from it? Uh, we just got some mature venison meat and the legendary moose antler itself. Um, so yeah, that was, uh, go, it going off to die in the water certainly made things, um, certainly made things a little interesting for me. Had to get a little bit creative to try and get the, try and get the pelt. Um, now in order to craft the trinket, you're going to want to come to your nearest fence, which will be over here in Van Horn. Um, and once we're over there, I will show you the next step in the process. However, on your way there, you may wish to stop off at the trapper and sell off the pelt uh, to get your money and various clothing unlocks as well. But yeah, stay tuned and we will be at the fence shortly and I will show you the next step in the process. Alright, so we're just coming up on the fence in Van Horn now. I'll just pull that up on the map for anyone who missed it before. Doesn't know where it is. It's going to want to come out onto this little jetty here, which then leads you up to the fence itself. Alright. Make your way inside. It's good to see you again. Figured you were long done with Van Horn. Have a look around, see what you might need. Oh, mate, I know exactly what I want. I want that oh, moose sure, antler trinket, a baby. For you. So, come on down, $19. That'll easily get covered uh, when you sell off the pelt to the trapper at the icon that I showed you before. Uh, you'll get all of that back and then some, more than likely. Just check out the info. Permanently increases the player's health experience bonus by 10%. Happy days, that is what we want, so purchase right that. Then, let's have a wee look. Got the compendium updated with the moose antler trinket. Just give that a little looky-loo. Moose antler trinket, and yeah, permanently increases player's health experience. Bonus by 10%. Happy days. Happy days indeed. Alright, so make sure that you do go and sell off that pelt to the trapper. Um, it's worth decent money. I will include the exact price down in the description below. Um, but yeah, that should just about cover it for my legendary moose guy. We've got some absolutely god-awful weather, as we quite often do in, in this part of the map, if I'm honest. Um, but yeah, if you found the guide useful, please slap a like down below. And um, if you're new around here and you enjoy Red Dead Redemption 2, please also consider subscribing. Um, and yeah, I will catch you all on my next guide and or let's play. I'm Red Nitrate. Stay legendary, everyone. Bye now.